Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast for January 27th through February 2nd. We're going to connect here and see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to pull cards for the week from this lovely deck here, and then we're going to pull an Oracle card for you from that deck there and see what's coming up for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I shuffled off camera. We're going to go ahead and jump right on in here. Here's your Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Gemini. Alrighty, don't be mad at me. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, we're starting off with the tower. Now, those of you that you've watched my videos, you've heard me say this in the past, the tower card doesn't have to be something bad. The tower card is just basically something happening that's forever changing your life. That's a really big shift that's pushing you out of your comfort zone tower card could be meeting the love of your life it could be you know uh purchasing property it can be landing your dream job it can be really really good things now those of you that you watch my weekly videos you know i don't typically pull clarifiers but because i know the tower card is a card that has a stigma and people get nervous when they see it when i see the tower card i will pull clarifiers so we're going to pull clarifiers gemini we're going to ask here, please clarify how Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising may experience the Tower card Monday, Tuesday in the week of the January 27th. Clarifier 3. Okay, we've got three clarifiers. Clarifier 1 is the Magician. Some new beginning, something that you are manifesting. Okay, for some of you this could involve... Um, something that you've been working on or that you've been wanting to have come in for a very long time that maybe you thought it just wasn't possible you may be manifesting and creating something at this time we have the well which i need to tell you it's a major arcana and i need to explain to you here just a second and we have four of swords so um You've got two major arcana cards coming up here to clarify a major arcana. So Monday, Tuesday is a time of really big significant change for you, Gemini. Uh, and major arcana cards are cards that come up when we're at a significant crossroads and something having to do with life lesson, life path. So whatever's happening Monday, Tuesday is going to be going on for a while. The fact that the Magician card is here and the Well card is here are both very good because they're telling us it's something having to do with stability and having to do with something that you're manifesting. Now, I didn't know of the Well as a major Arcana card until I purchased this deck. Apparently, some decks have two additional major Arcana. So the well card is going to be about you being grounded, you coming into like ways that are increasing your security or ideas or inspirations so it could be something having to do with an invention it could be something having to do with with an idea of something you're wanting to create or make that you're putting out there okay so for gemini for some of you this is like you're taking a really really big step so whatever this tower moment is instead of it being something that's happening to you like against your will or like an unexpected upset this feels more like it's coming from within you that you're taking certain steps that are forever changing your life Okay, so maybe you've been having an idea of something you've been wanting to do that's going to create stability for you. Maybe it is something you wanted to invent. Maybe it is something you were wanting to write. Maybe it's going back to school or, you know, going into a certain field or something. And you're finally beginning to take the steps to make this happen because you're getting very serious about feeling stability. I'm getting like this image of like this feather being blown around and maybe Gemini for a while that's how things have been for you and you're over it you're done with it you don't want to experience that anymore and you're wanting stability and the well card is very much about that like being able to tap into yourself your gifts your abilities your ideas of how you're creating this for yourself if you're like man amethyst that really sounds great, but I have no idea what that would be. The well card could be telling you that you're going to have this inspiration come to you as you are connecting with nature. 
okay so if you're able to go for a walk somewhere where there's trees and plants that can be very helpful uh maybe like sit uh someplace in a park if it's a safe place to do that um if you can't necessarily do that if you can incorporate or bring nature into your home maybe having more plants or flowers or things around your home or your apartment can be helpful grounding yourself you know being able to Put your uh, feet in, uh, you know, put your bare feet on the floor or even in the carpet, like just to come into your body, just to be grounded within yourself. Uh, these are all things that can be very helpful. But you may be receiving some inspiration that is going to bring you into a period of time, like some project, some ongoing thing, some ongoing changes where you're like you know what i'm not gonna let my insecurity get to me anymore i'm not gonna let distractions get to me anymore you're on this path of changing your life and bringing in stability bringing in a solid foundation for yourself okay so that being said my darlings let's go ahead and see what's happening wednesday thursday so for wednesday thursday you guys have oh my god another major arcana card this is a big big week for you guys all right high priestess is a very powerful card some of you could be dealing with a pisces although um you know the high priestess card is a card that i also tend to associate with taurus and I never really knew why. And somebody left a comment the other day that really was like, oh, okay, I get why I have that connection. And I have heard other readers say this as well, but somebody left a comment that explained to me why I associate High Priestess with Taurus. The moon is exalted in Taurus. And so that's why sometimes, I don't know why that, like, that makes me think of Taurus too. So it could be you're dealing with a, a Pisces or a Taurus, or if you have Pisces or Taurus in your chart, that element or that aspect of yourself could be a really big factor in this next phase or stage in your life. But when the High Priestess card comes up for somebody in a reading, over the years it has told me that your chakras are opening up and clearing you're really like your chakras are aligning you're connecting to the higher self and you're becoming very intuitive and you're making very good decisions based on your intuition and you have a lot of energy running through you spiritual energy connecting with your spiritual gifts and abilities and it makes you very magnetic so you're beginning to attract a lot of opportunities whether they be work opportunities or like people that are trying to get into your pants. That happens a lot when, when somebody's in high priestess energy. You're going to have a lot of people that find you very irresistible. You might have a lot of people trying to you know get into your pants. So even though you have all this energy coming your way, Gemini, it's going to be up to you to kind of have the discipline and being able to figure out who you're going to let in, who you're not going to let in, you know, having healthy boundaries. Um, I feel for some of you, your phone is like just going nuts. Lots of phone calls, lots of text messages, people wanting to talk to you. Uh, this is really great. And I know, Gemini, you guys can be social. You guys are really good with conversation and you guys can really talk about different topics. I just want to give you one little heads up. This is the time for you to stay focused on whatever's happening in the beginning of the week. Don't let it distract you too much. Enjoy it for what it is, but don't let it distract you too much. And I really feel those of you, if you've been having issues with indecisiveness or insecurity, the high priestess midweek is saying you're coming into a time where you're really stepping into your confidence, your inner knowing, uh, your your intuition, you know, all of that beautiful energy, which is, which is going to be helpful for you. So your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Gemini, we have five of swords. So this makes sense to me uh, in a couple of different ways. Number one, the tower says you're coming into really big changes. Uh, the high priestess midweek is telling us that you're coming into like a certain level of confidence and you're following your intuition and your guidance. So five of swords can be disagreements. So I feel like what is happening is there may be people in your life that don't agree with the direction you're feeling like you need to go in and they might have some disagreements 
or for some of you as you're coming into this newfound confidence and taking these steps there may be people that think that all of a sudden you think you're all high and mighty and five of swords is saying they might kind of come in in a way where they're wanting to cut you down to size like they're wanting to put you in your place because this is a general reading you're going to experience the energies in different ways my advice whenever the five of swords comes up is do what you can to not like be in a reactive energy even though it might be somebody who's coming at you and they might be coming at you wrong or disrespectful it may be a good idea to just kind of disconnect from it for a moment calm yourself down figure out what it is about what they said or what they did triggered you or upset you why it's triggering you why it's upsetting you work through that so that you can heal that trigger and not have to have that trigger anymore and then you can come back and talk to them about it when you have control over your feelings, over your temper. And you can say, hey, you know, like I kind of wanted to talk about this or I wasn't ready to get into it just then. But, you know, let's like, you know, visit this now. Only because Five of Swords says a little small situation has the potential of blowing up into a huge issue. And, you know, it could be like a burn, a, a bridge burning moment. And depending on what's happening with certain people in your life, you might be welcoming it. Sometimes this comes up and they're like, oh gosh, yes, I am so ready to burn a bridge. So Gemini, I'm going to go ahead out on a limb here and say that intuitively, I feel for some of you what's happening is you've already felt that you've been making changes and there might be some people that you've been wanting to step away from but you haven't known how to do that or they just really haven't been able to take the hint that you are you know kind of going in a new direction with your life and you don't feel you know maybe as close or something there might be certain people that you've been wanting to let go of and I do feel for some of you this is family this is like a relative kind of situation. So there could be something happening towards the end of the week where they're being critical or they're criticizing you for where you're at in your life or the way that you're thinking or you're being too confident or you're being too optimistic or something. And you may burn that bridge with that person. And for some of you, it feels like a relief. Like, oh man, I thought I was never going to be able to get that toxic negative energy out of my life because I kept trying to distance myself yet they kept like you know coming at me with this stuff so it can go either way if you don't want to burn bridges step away you know take control of your feelings come back and discuss it when you're calm but some of you are like no I'm, I'm so happy to burn a bridge and so if you've been wanting an opportunity that might be presenting itself for you towards the end of the week Let's go ahead and see what your oracle message is, your spirit messages for the week, your spiritual homework. And guys, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos as well. Some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others. If you would like a private reading, please be sure to click on the Calendly link in the description of the video and schedule a private reading there. So see what your message is for the week. Oh, goodness gracious. We have gentleness. So maybe for some of you, burning bridges is not going to be uh, the best route. Again, they're general readings. Everybody's in a different situation. You you do you, boo. Um, but gentleness is a card here that's letting us know um, that you're coming into this new beginning. Uh, one of the things the creator of this deck talks about in the booklet if i'm remembering correctly is the whole thing of like vulnerability like going into something with promise and optimism and 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 kind of just like going into it with careful or cautious energy you know if you think about like a bride going into like starting her new life and 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 feeling like you know she's gonna be you know uh, you know uh, the woman of her own house like you know leaving the family if we think about like the old school kind of way and this still applies if you're a male or female or masculine or what, what whatever wherever you fall whatever you identify as but kind of going into like where you're taking ownership of your life you're taking ownership of your circumstances and you have this optimism but you're not taking it you know lightly and you're also wanting to go into it in a way where you're putting your love into it. It's going to succeed. It's going to bloom. It's going to blossom. It's going to grow. Um, you know, kind of like becoming that kind, gentle ruler or leader. 
and uh, you're, you're approaching your life in this way as well. And maybe for some of you, you got to clear anything out of your life that's not allowing you to be in that energy and maybe for some of you you're catching more flies with you know more flies with honey than you are with vinegar your circumstances are going to be different not every single gemini has the same exact situation so meditate on how this might be applicable for you pray on it you know ask your angels and guides to give you guidance to give you the right words um you know as, as things happen in the right moment in the right time because i really really feel gemini i'm i'm almost i like spirit is giving this visual of like you're trying to diffuse a situation, right? Like you're trying to figure out which wires you need to cut, you know, which things, wh wh which avenues you need to disconnect from. And so I really, really feel like you guys are just, you're just very tired of anybody not allowing you um, to be yourself or to live your life or to make your decisions, right? And you can take a stand in gentle ways, you can take a stand in firm and gentle ways. It doesn't have to be dysfunction. It doesn't have to be yelling. It doesn't have to be craziness, you know? I think that's the main message that's coming up for you guys. Be sure to watch the angel messages for uh, January if you haven't yet. That could be helpful for some of you. If you're wanting more love and romance readings, click on the love readings for January. Those are listed in the description. February videos will be up soon, my darlings. Um, if you find the weekly videos helpful, but you, you just wish there was something more on a daily basis, please be sure to follow Amethyst Angel Light on Instagram and Facebook. Every single day, I post technically two cards. You get a card of the day with a message of the day. And then I do a pick a card game where you pick a card, you choose a card, and then when it's revealed, you see which card you chose. So technically, if you're on the social media, you get to get two cards a day, two messages a day. And then what I've been doing as spiritual concepts have been coming up, like meditation ideas or like the other day inner child work came up, I will make time to post about those on the social media simply because... Um, it's hard for me since I do the private readings and I do the weekly videos and all the videos that I post. It's hard for me to make time to, to do videos on like certain concepts that pop up in my mind. So I've just been making quick posts on the social media. Hopefully soon I can get more into instructional videos. That is ultimately my goal. But for right now, I'm, I'm posting about them on social media. So that can be helpful for some of you as well. Uh, I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. I'm wishing you all a fabulous week, my darlings. Take care.